yo 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 guys welcome back to the channel now this video is going to be all about creating stylized environments and tips and tricks on what you could do to make them and improve upon your currently existing ones but before we get into the video make sure you do the usual subscribe like and comment and let me know what different types of videos that you want me to upload next so yeah let's get into the video okay so first things first when it comes to creating stylized environments uh you want a bright skybox which you can get out of the toolbox if you need to this is out of the toolbox and then you need to make sure your terrain colors and like material colors and stuff like that should be a lot brighter like for example your grass if i go ahead and uh, add some grass here it's quite dark and uh, not really appealing and doesn't really fit a stylized art style so if i go ahead and click on the grass here let's make it a little bit brighter as you can see you get that it starts to pop out a lot more and you get that stylized feel from it once you're happy with your terrain colors you can go ahead and mess around with the lighting if you need uh, change the ambient to something like blue and raise it a little bit just to get a bluish tint on your terrain and stuff like that you can mess around with brightness uh, outdoor ambience uh make that blue or whatever you'd like and just in general just mess around with these settings until you get this bright and vibrant look to your terrain once you've done that go ahead and make yourself a some terrain or your environment and just go ahead and sculpt your terrain however you'd like it so i'll be back when i have my terrain done okay so i'm happy here with my terrain i'm making a bit of a canyon here with hills either side uh, I made the dirt color a little bit lighter and we're just going to have a path straight down the middle. Now we're going to need uh, some specific assets for a stylized environment uh, which is going to be primarily cliff sides, uh, leaves uh, slash bushes and we're going to need the windshake script. But we're going to go ahead and start with the cliff edges and then go for the leaves and then add the windshake at the end as a final piece. Okay now that I'm in Blender I'm going to go ahead and make some cliff sides. I'm going to show you a little trick on how to make some nice cliffs really simply uh, i'm not gonna make anything too complex uh, i've got my keys on the bottom left here because some of you recommended me putting them there so if you need to check what key i've pressed and i haven't mentioned it it will be down here now first things first i'm going to delete this light and this camera i'm just going to use this default cube here i'm going to lift it up and then i just want a bit of a rectangle like so and then you just want to bevel a couple of edges like so i'm pressing ctrl b just to bevel this i don't want any of the sides even so i'm just going to bevel every single edge now if you're a little bit more experienced you can normal mac this and sculpt it and all that kind of stuff but this is more of a simple style once you're happy with that you can go ahead and copy and paste it make it smaller make it wider you can flip it 180 you can do whatever you like just make sure it doesn't look too symmetrical as cliff sides are barely ever symmetrical and just go ahead and just duplicate these get a knife nice little cliff side here once you are happy with this cliff bunch here you can go ahead and kind of select all of it and just copy and paste just do the same thing like so but don't go overboard because the poly count can go a bit nuts when you uh, do this as you can see down here, I'm already at 3000 triangles. So this is a little bit overkill, but since this is just a little bit of a showcase, uh, it won't be too much of a big deal. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and select it all. Press Control J to join it. And we can go ahead and export it. Just in case you don't know, to export, file, export, FBX. Okay, so once you've imported it, you can go ahead and color it whatever you'd like. Uh, and then add a material on it if you want i'm going to leave it as sandstone for now i might change it later on and then you can go ahead and bring it over here tilt it slightly um as cliffs are never almost almost never straight uh like a straight decline or incline or whatever you call it and then you can just go ahead and add these like this you can start to see a nice cliff edge being developed here make sure to rotate resize and all the rest of it to add variety if you want to as well at the end of the cliff you can go ahead and flatten the end as a lot of games seem to do this and then if you want to add some smaller details you can go ahead and just grow the ends of it lower the strength and the scale and just grow and get a little bit of grass in between the cliff like so just so it looks like the cliffs blend in with the uh, mountain a little bit more 
or the terrain should I say okay since I'm happy with this I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it over to the other side and then I can go ahead and make use of it on this side if you want to add more verticality you can go ahead and just duplicate your cliffs maybe uh, rotate them a little bit and then increase or move them around a little bit and just bring them down a little bit maybe not so much because the uh, mesh is going to start to stretch a little bit too much but you can bring it down a little bit and then perhaps drop that down again just so it's a larger cliff and then you can go ahead and add your grass on the end again as you can see the result is already really really nice with these cliffs and they're not even too difficult to make okay once you're happy with your cliffs we can go ahead and make our leaves now, the first thing you want to do is open up your favorite photo editing software or just the one that you have okay i'm going to go ahead and use photoshop here and the first thing you want to do is just draw a leaf shape i'm going to go for something very simple because uh for the sake of the tutorial i don't want to drag it out too long but yeah just get a leaf shape like this and then fill it in and then you can simply just select it and then copy and paste it i'm going to go ahead and make the point a little bit sharper that'll do for now i don't think it's going to turn out too well in the studio but it should be fine and now i can just go ahead and copy and paste it like so you want kind of a circular motion ideally so you want to fill like a, a circle up with these leaves okay i'm pretty happy with this um i'm gonna go ahead and color it the same as the grass on the terrain i have for some reason when you import uh the same color as the terrain for example if i copy this id here it's not going to come in as the same uh, color it often comes in a little bit lighter so i'm going to probably go layer layer style uh, color overlay i'm going to put this color in and then maybe bring it a little bit darker okay once i'm done with my texture i can go ahead and uh, save it as a png now we want to head back into blender i'm going to move these cliffs aside and i'm just going to add mesh and then plane i'm just going to go ahead and lift this up and then rotate it like this and then i'm going to go ahead and go into shading and then new and i'm going to do shift a here and then search image texture and then i'm going to go ahead and click open and find my leaf texture i'm going to drag the color into base color and then alpha into alpha and then since we want the transparency to appear through on the texture you want to click on this little red circle here material properties and then change this to alpha clip and as you can see our texture is now transparent ideally the image of your texture you want it wants to fill in the uh, the border here as much as possible but uh, i'm not going to go back and uh, mess around with it but once you've done that you want to go ahead and press shift d to duplicate it and just rotate it around and just create a bit of a crisscross like this and then you feel free to just join them and then now you have your leaf cross once you've done that you can just keep pressing shift d and rotating randomly and you'll eventually have your bush another thing i like to do is once i have my leaves i can go ahead and move the top face like this and then just rotate it around the middle pivot and then it creates more of a bush shape in my opinion and then you can go ahead and lift it up and just create the shape of a bush now you can go ahead and select these and then go file export fbx once you bring these into studio you're going to see them look a little bit weird uh, that's fine all you need to do is just click the little plus here and then add a surface appearance and then once you add your surface appearance you can go into alpha mode here transparency and then change the color map and then find your image texture the leaves that you made once you've done that you want to make sure to click double sided just so you can see both sides of their leaves and make sure to disable collisions of course because you're barely ever going to collide with things like this and now you can go ahead and spread it around your map Okay, now that I've placed all the bushes around that I'm, I wanted, I also went ahead and made the small leaves into kind of like hanging leaves for the cliffs. Just, show, just to show some love to the cliffs and fill in some empty gaps here uh, and just get rid of all this grayness really. And as you can see, your environment is starting to look stylized and really, really nice already. Now, the final thing we want to add, of course, is trees. I'm not going to show too much of the process, but basically uh, what I tend to do is add and then curve then beige and then basically flip it around it's facing the top i'm just going to show this real quick and now you can basically create a tree based on this curve if you go to 
this little icon right here and then geometry and then depth you add depth it starts to add thickness to it and then if you select the top vertice and then press left alt hold left alt and then s it'll scale the top down and then you can curve this however you like and then you can just keep pressing shift d and just build the shape of a tree quite easily i've already made one so i'm going to go ahead and import this one now once you've imported your tree you can go ahead and copy the surface appearance on the leaves and then just paste it into and then make sure it's double sided and of course collisions are off now you can go ahead and anchor this and group them and you can go ahead and copy and paste it around the map and as you can see we have our stylized environment here obviously the leaves aren't ideal and you could probably make something a lot better and get a better outcome but uh, other than that all we need to do is add the wind shake now if you go to toolbox and type in wind effect and then find wind effect by nbytss and then click on it import it now what this is going to make you do there's going to be a script in it that's going to tell you to put the wind controller in starter player scripts all you do is cut this uh, and delete that and then put it in starter player scripts now once you have this in here the way the shake works is based off uh objects that are tagged wind shake now i have a plugin called uh instance tagging i believe it's called i'm not sure don't quote me on it but essentially all you have to do is go to the leaves and then add a tag to them called wind shake with a capital w exactly and a capital s exactly like it's like this and then tick it and then you should have something like this as you can see we have the wind shake and the wind lines and here's our environment anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new from this video make sure to subscribe to my channel turn post notifications on and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.